It is bike a week in Grand Theft Auto Online, and I swore the last time this happened I was never going to do it again, but I'm a sucker for punishment. Want to <laughs> try and do a video that's going to entertain you watching it. My pain is going to be your entertainment. Anyway, look, yeah, the MC business is paying double money on cell missions, so I'm going to go. I've filled them all up. I don't run them normally. Last time this was double money, I I showed why I don't run them, but we're going to do it anyway. So look, if you want to know how these businesses work, I will. I have got a guide on my channel, and I will link that in the description below. Uh, but firstly, what well, since we're in the MC clubhouse here, really we're going to go resupply the bar because this too is paying double money. Now, where is it? Is it nice and close? It is. That's excellent. That's what we want. We want it nice and close. Ah, uh, now I'm going to need. My oppressor mark too. Where is it? It's going to spawn in a bit too far away, isn't it? I don't know. It's, that's... If I had a register as, as an MC president, that would have spawned right beside me. But because of the raids on those businesses, I don't want to. I don't want to register as an MC president until I'm inside one of the businesses ready to sell. Okay, so just got to come over to this location over here. I got lucky and got a really nice close one. You might get one a bit further away. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There. Do I need to kill these guys or just scare them off? Just scare them off, that's cool. So hop in this van, drive it back to the MC clubhouse. Now you've got a supplies bar there as well on the bottom right hand corner. And there come the NPCs when they shoot me. That supply bar is going to go down. I don't know how much it affects your pay. I think it doesn't matter as long as you make it back. With some supplies left, you're going to get the full pay. So what I got there? So that, that paid me $20,000 straight up. That is paying double money. But also, if I come into the office of my clubhouse, where does it spawn? I think it spawns just here. There's going to be some money appear here, here. It's normally $5,000. That's going to be doubled, obviously, so ten thousand dollars. But and I think that's over a four-day period as well, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember exact details, but it is in my guide on the MC businesses. So check that out down below. You know, let's uh, hop over to the arcade and have a look at my MC businesses now. So as you can see, all my MC businesses are full. My lockup, my cash factory, grass farm, lab and the document forgery office. So I'm going to go jump into a public lobby and we're going to sell all of these. Okay, I'm in my cash factory, all full, ready to go. I'm in a public lobby. Oh, I've had a look around. This guy here may be a concern, but that's a bounty, not, um, doesn't mean he's a, doesn't mean he's a dirty player, doesn't mean he's a griefer. He's just got a bounty on him. A couple more guys down here for bounties. This guy here might have me a bit worried. He's on an oppressor. Penguin lover. <laughs> uh, look, looking at the list as well, though, if we calm down to the players. All their mental stuff. Oh, hang on, here we go. We've got one now that's unstable. I looked a minute ago, and he looked fine. Everybody looked fine, so... Look, let's, let's do it. Why not? And, of course, I can't start, can I? Because there's not enough. Oh, God. Here we go. I thought I just registered. What's going on? Before I came in here, I swear I registered. It's not going to let me do it. I'm going to have to jump to a new session, aren't I? We'll try. Hang on. No one's leaving. Jump to a new session. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, I'm in a new session. I am now registered as a MC president. This lobby does not look as safe as the last one I was in, but this that just means it might be more entertaining for you lot watching this. So let's just see what happens here. We'll see how we go.
Okay, so we're going to sell to Los Santos, obviously, $735,000. But of course, we're going to get the high demand bonus if we manage to successfully sell it. We on? Okay. It's a boat drop. Products loaded and waiting. Uh, they'll pay more for it if you get it to them quick, so get on over to the dock. Okay, I got the boats first up, which is not too bad. The boats aren't a bad mission. Now, this bus a myth that I've seen from another YouTuber. Uh, subscribe for Tacos did a video earlier on this, and my radio's on, I need to turn that off. Um, now, he said that he'd heard somewhere that if you haven't sold any of these businesses in quite some time, that you are guaranteed to get the single truck first up. Well, I haven't sold any of these businesses in quite some time. The last time MC businesses were double money, in fact. And, well, it's given me the boats first up, so that is myth busted there. I'm sorry to say, Tacos, man. Uh, I was really hoping I was going to get the truck first up. I didn't want to say anything before I loaded in, in case this happened and I didn't get the, the, the truck. But there we go. Anyway, I'll talk to you when I get over to the boats. Okay, let's hop in, let's go. Now, I could call Amani and put this whole area out of sight, but I'm not going to do that for the boats because... Because they're out in the water, like, I feel like this one's one of the safer ones you can do in a public lobby because people don't really want to come out into the ocean just to, to kill you. So I, I feel like they'll be safe there. Okay, there's the first one. And if you didn't know, to get around tight corners in these little dinghies or any boat, really, if you hold your handbrake down, the boat will turn much tighter. And that's going to come real in real handy in a moment when we head up... Uh, up the river here is it Zancudo River, the one just uh, to the south of the uh, Port Zancudo Air Base. Yeah, so this one here, holding the handbrake down, turn really tight. Look at that. So that's number two done. Let's move on to number three. Drop number three. Two more to go for this first boat. Drop number four, one more to go. As I approach this final one, I will call... Oh, not my power surge, no. No. Where is it? Oh, no, get off the rocks, get off the rocks. Get off the rocks, where's the oppressor? There it is. Call the oppressor in, there we go. Where's it spawned? What's it spawned all the way over there for? That's not in a convenient location at all. That is totally not a convenient location. Thank you, game. Oh, you've got to be joking me. Come on, get up there, get up there. There we go. Come on. Got to go. Up the stairs. That was totally not a convenient location at all. I probably should have just uh, drove the boat back. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so we're back for the next boat. I think what I'll do next time is once the sail's over is I'll drive closer to the beach and then spawn in the oppressor. And that might be a little bit easier. Okay, let's go, let's do this. Okay, drop number one. Let's go. Drop number two, get around, come on. There we go. Drop number three. So far, so good. Drop number four. One more to go for the second boat. And the fact that it's still saying deliveries 9 of 15 says that my third and final boat is still down the bottom there. No one's come after it yet. Even though it's sitting there all on its own for anyone to come along and blow up on me. Okay, so this time I'm going to just turn around, mate, turn around. Let's head for the beach over here and we'll call in the oppressor after we're nice and close to this beach. I'll even look away from the beach too, there we go. That's worked better, look at that. There it is, get up mate, seriously. 
you freaking fell over after that. Anyway, let's go get this last boat. And let's make this delivery. Okay, final boat. And no one has come anywhere near us so far, so this is looking good. Now, if you're watching this video, do pause it right here and comment below just how many of these businesses do you think I'm going to be able to sell in full without being griefed? Because I'm just going to just going to do it. I'm just, if I get griefed, I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to do what I suggest you do if you get griefed, and that is quit the game immediately or find a new invite-only session straight away the second you realise you've lost some cargo. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't need the money. I'm purely putting myself through all this torture for your entertainment. That's it. So yeah, comment below. How many do you think I'm going to I'm going to sell completely full? Now that means, even though I've got so far now what 11 out of 15 of this one, if someone comes and blows me up now, this one doesn't count as a full sale. I've got to do all 15. So I've got I've got to do the last four. For this one to count as number one. So yeah, pause it right now. Comment below, how many do you think I'm going to do? So there's number two done for boat five, boat three. I was about to call it boat five, I don't know why. They've got five drops each. But I've only got three boats. Drop number three, two to go. Two to go, and no one's come anywhere near us. We're looking good. Looking good. Famous last words, though. Drop number four. A one to go. And there we go. One million one hundred and thirty-six thousand one hundred dollars. Thanks to the high demand bonus. So. If you commented zero, you thought I was going to sell none of these completely full, you're out. Everybody else, you're still alive. Anyway, I'm going to firstly retire. I can't yet. Okay, hold on a minute. I've got to wait for... Um... What's going on here? Start, stand your ground. I didn't start this. Do I have to take care of this? No. Oh, someone else has started it. I can go and disrupt them if I want to. Well, I don't want to. Can I disband? I can disband because I don't want to risk my MC... Uh, my bloody MC businesses getting raided while I head over to the next one. So I'm going to head over to the next one. I'll talk to you again in a moment. Okay, I'm now at my lockup. I had to wait a minute before I could register as a MC president again because of the bloody, what is it? You can only have nine or ten in a session. So look, let's have a look here. Here's my cash factory here. Here's my lockup. Here's my lab. But down in the city is where I've got my grass farm and my document forgery because what I like to do when I am going to sell these is I start up here, I'm going to sell to the city. Then I'll go to the one in the city, sell back up to Blaine County, come back to the one in Blaine County, sell to the city, and so on. But because of the bike mission, uh, the boat mission, sorry, they sent me all the way up here. Even though I said to sell them to Los Santos, so here I am now at the lockup because that was the closest one. And let's have another look at the lobby still. I think, I think we're good. I'm gonna go and sell. We really want the truck this time. This one's going to sell for one million and fifty thousand dollars plus whatever the high demand bonus is going to be. All right, these drops uh, are only accessible by seaplane. Products loaded up and ready to go when you are. We got the seaplanes. This is going to be fun. Okay, there's no one. Well, there's one person there. Ah. Uh, We're not we're not going to call Amani and go off site. We're going to keep that for one of the two in the city. I've got to I've got to abandon multiple trucks or bikes 
helicopters in the city, that's what we'll do. This is going to be a long, boring mission. Yeah, just with this one, if you look at my mini map there as well, you can see there's a line on it. I've got to keep the plane below that line. Otherwise, I'm going to be detected by the cops and get a wanted level. I'm not going to be able to make my drops. So just be wary of that if you get the seaplanes mission. See that solid full white line? That's one you've got to stay below. Anyway, here's the first drop. Chucking a right on your D-pad, we'll uh, drop it off. Drop number two was nice and close there as well, so that's what we want. Okay, so where are the other three drops then? On the other side of the map, I think. we go. Whoa! Good thing I'm in a seaplane because I almost crashed into the sea. Okay, let's head for the most southern one first. It's going to take us directly over top of the city and to where pretty much 90% of the players in this lobby are. I think I just had someone shooting at me then. That pink guy on the map, what's his name? Vigilante Viper? He was the only one nearby, unless someone's off the radar. I think he was just firing at me. Level 434 he is, so he, he should have weapons that... Maybe he's shooting at me with a rail gun and he missed, I don't know. But I swore I saw something go flying past me just then. Wasn't wasn't a missile. Anyway, there's number three. And someone's blown up one of my planes. Someone's blown up one of my planes. I've only got Ten deliveries to make. So they're just blowing up one plane but then left. Like, why? That's just annoying. So, look, if you you commented that I was going to sell all five without losing any products, you're out too now. So when did that happen? I'm going to have to look back over the bloody footage there. When, I, when I'm editing, I'll, I'll pop some subtitles up, to let, or a caption up, to let you know where it was that I lost that. So if you well, obviously you're watching this, you would have already seen that happen now. There we go, there's the fifth drop. Let's call in the oppressor. Yeah, we get. Well, that was fantastic, wasn't it? Why are the bloody thing's still moving? Uh, so there's the one that blow, blew up. Like, why? Why blow that one up and leave this one? Or why blow it up at all? Just ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know where are our drops? All are down around the bottom. So we'll head to this one here first, I guess. Okay, drop one of plane number two. Now look, there's someone's Kasatka. Um, aside from whoever blew up my plane that was just sitting there, I've had no issues whatsoever so far. 
Just trying to find where the next one is. I'm heading in the right direction, so let's keep going. I think one player did try to shoot at me. But, yeah, I don't know. Look, so far, it's apart from that one plane that's been blown up, and why he didn't blow this one up that's sitting right beside it, I don't know. Was it an accident? Maybe, maybe he blew it up by accident, I don't know. Anyway. Drop number two for plane number two. Drop number three, just two to go now. Drop number four. And the final drop for two out of three planes, and we got 1.1 million, so we still got $50,000 more than we would have doing that in an invite-only session. So that's... That's why you do the risk of selling them in a public lobby. Now where's that landed over there? Oh, well, no, 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 no. Alright, jump out. Parachute down. There we go. Oh, that was a great landing, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, let's head over to the next business then, and I'll talk to you when we get there. Okay, so I'm at my grass farm now. We're going to go try and sell this one. This one is in the city, so I may use a money to have my vehicles go off-site, depending on which cell mission we get. Let's hope it's the single truck this time. Come on, Rockstar. So, uh, the buyer's there, and he can't drive. All right, it's the single truck. And judging by the phone call, I just got the buyers in here and he can't drive. I'm going to assume this is the one where he's he's smoking, isn't he? This is the one where I'm going to... My character's going to get stoned, isn't he? This is going to be fun. I'm going to have to try and drive this slow truck. There we go, yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is just what I want in a public lobby, isn't it? Fantastic. This is this is gonna be fun. This is a lot of fun this one. Oh god. And I'm going again okay, going past some players over here all have bounties. Let's stay away from them. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Far out. Who is the genius at Rockstar that decided this would be a good cell mission to put into the game, eh? Can I shake your hand or can I kick your ass? I don't know. And now I've got to lose the cops on top of this, so... Oh, can we call Lester? Tell me we can call Lester. Come on, mate, what are you doing? Hey, which one of my skills is required? <sighs> so you don't want to get in serious trouble, huh? Okay, well, at least... At least I can get the cops off me with Lester. That's... That's fantastic. Alright, where's the waypoint want to send me? What's going on? Drive straight! Ah! Uh, Come on! <laughs> I think I would almost prefer the post stops over this mission, to be honest with you. Oh, come on, am I straightening out now? Come on. I thought he was straightening up for a second then. He wasn't.
we're nearly there. Can I take a shortcut up over here or am I going to risk getting the truck stuck? Let's try it. I've got the up and atomizer. This isn't 2013 anymore when you couldn't take trucks off road and risk them not getting stuck and... Oh, come on. That's not what we're after. Ah, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Come on, get over this hill. Get over this hill. The drop's like right there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, seriously, there's a fucking tree there. Where's the bloody drop? There it is, come on. In we go, 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 there we go, done. $945,000 with the high demand bonus. Oh my god. You can get out now. And how long until I... How long until am I going to remain stoned for? Come on, you can wear off now. The mission's finished. Oh, that one was a lot of fun. Let's head over to the next one now. The I've uh, got the lab up here in Blaine County. Let's go. Okay, here's my lab. Let's head inside. Okay, here we go. So, if you thought or commented two, three or four of the businesses I was going to be able to sell completely full, you're still alive. Well done. Let's go now. The... Uh, Blue Lab, 892,500 without the high demand bonus, so let's see if we can get this one done. You're uh, bikers, right? Because the buyer wants the... Okay, this one's not too bad. I know it's four bikes, but this can be done fairly bloody quickly, and from the lab position here, this is the best position, in my opinion, of all of the businesses when you're selling to the furthest location away, so... I'm gonna risk not calling Amani and not putting that out of sight, let's go. Whoops. Do I cut that part or do I show you that part? I think I'll leave that part in. That was rather funny. Go on, get around, there we go. Now, which one is this one? Is this the one where I've got to load them on the back of trucks? I should have let, um... It is. right up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I can't call that in yet. Okay, so we're going to have to go with the Sparrow instead to get back. Yes, that took less than... less than five minutes to drop that off, so... even before the, um timer increased. Four bikes. Less than five minutes each to, to, to deliver them. It was very easy to do solo. I've quite often seen people doing videos on the bikes. They'd, they'd cringe when they got the bikes because there's four of them. But they're quick. They're single drops. They're quick. I'd much rather the bikes than the than the garbage trucks or the post-op vans or the seaplanes. In fact, if I had to list in order, I would go with the single truck first, not the one I just got, the single truck um, where you're not stoned. I would probably go with the, the boats as second. I'd probably go with this one as third, to be honest. But then I'd go with the single truck where you're stoned. Then the helicopters. Then the seaplanes, then the garbage trucks, then the post op vans, dead last. Alright, where's this one want to take me? We want to go down that way. Alright, that's a bit further away. This one's going to be interesting. This one's going to take a bit longer than five minutes, maybe. Okay, we've got a player following me here. Let's 
find a proximity mine. Still coming my way? Or has he given up? He's coming this way still. I've managed to um, put some distance between me and him, but so I don't know if he's actually coming after me or not. If he is, he's in a lot slower vehicle than what I'm in. Alright, where is this? There it is there. Up we go, right. Maybe he's not after me after all. What is he driving there? Is he doing a cell mission himself? Just a coincidence that he was following me. I couldn't quite tell what that vehicle was. Okay, so we've still got the four bikes to go. Now, is this happening to anybody else, by the way? My, my outfit is just... This is the outfit I choose. But this is the fourth time now since I've been logged in playing, trying to do this, this video, that my pants have changed to white. Why? What's going on? Where is this drop at? All the way down at the LSIA. Fantastic. This one's going to take the longest, and I thought that last one was the longest. Anyway, let's go. Cut ahead for you and Kate, unless something interesting happens. Okay, someone's coming after me. Got off the fuck. Got off the bike. Right, where is he? He's in an oppressor. Got him. Let's go. Jump off it again. <laughs> he got me. Toxic griefer. Let's go get this last one. Oh, back at my last bike now. Where is this guy? There he is there. Level 59, just trying to go around killing everybody. Probably doesn't even know how to play the game properly. Probably got that on a shark card. And I've got to go down through the city again. This is fantastic. And I've got no way of going off the radar where he can't see me. Because we don't have ghost organisation when you've got the MC... when you're an MC frickin' president. So heading back into the city, this is going to be fun. What's, what's this guy up to? Where is he? In hindsight, what I should have done was well, after, after I killed him, I should have gone and blown his oppressor up. But I'm not an asshole who goes around blowing up other people's vehicles. But I probably should have done. And that's me being a semi-passive player, not a griefing asshole, not wanting to um, to do that. That's going to be interesting. What's this? Is this a deluxo down here? We're going past. No, nope, it's a um, Arena Wars vehicle. There he is again. Did he just blow himself up right beside my product? He frickin' did too, the bastard. Where is it? It's up there. Fantastic, come on. Don't! Don't! 
Where's your suppressor? I'm going to blow it up this time. Son of a bitch! Oh, we got $660,000. Well done. So I've had to load into a new lobby to come and do my final business here because that freaking level 59 just wouldn't leave me alone. He just wanted to keep coming at me 1v1. Like, mate, I'm not interested in 1v1ing. You fucking blow up my product, you're a dirty little griefer. So you can just piss off. Anyway, here we go. Last business. So, if you guessed that I was going to successfully sell two or three, then you're still in the running to win. What are you going to win? Absolutely nothing. So, I don't even know why I said that. You're bikers. And we got motorbikes again. Now, this time. I am going to call Amani. Where is she? And we're going to put this whole section... What you need? Out of sight. Okay. Prepare to go, ghost. Okay, where do I have to go with this one? All the way up to the... This guy here is the one I'm worried about. He's showing up as an absolute psychopath. On the map. So, uh, this is going to be fantastic, isn't it? Let's uh, get down onto the freeway here. Can I get down on this way? I can't. What am I, where am I going? Oh, I've made a great start here, haven't I? Fantastic. Through the tunnel, that's where I meant to go. There we go. down onto the freeway just here. There we go. Now this should be a smooth run all the way now from here. Yep, here comes that psychopath I was worried about. Is he going to come after me or not? He's... He's thinking about it. Let's keep an eye on that map. He stopped. Did he stop because he realised I'm selling product? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this. It's a good thing I don't care about the money that I'm doing this video purely for the entertainment of you who is watching this. So I hope you've been entertained. Because I have been in absolute torture. What's this guy doing up here? Is he going to leave me alone? Where's my truck? I need to... No! 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 Where are you going? Come on, back up we go. Ah, oh, this guy's coming after me. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm stuck. Where's the truck? There it is. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Sorry, mate. Not interested in whatever you're doing. Maybe he was friendly after all. He did park right next to me and toot his horn. That's normally a sign of um, I'm a friendly player. But the, the menu said use a psychopath. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab the next bike. Okay, we've entered the out of sight area of the map now, so hopefully no one can see me. Hopefully no one can see these... Uh, Cell vehicles here as well. 
Okay, where's this one got to go to? Where are we? That's a nice quick one, that's alright. We'll take that. Let's just send the oppressor back to storage. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I actually don't know if the SEAL vehicles appear in that out of sight blip or not. Within the, yeah, it's a, I don't know if you can see it on the map there, it's just a, a bit of a greyish circle on the map. It's pretty big, a few blocks. Uh, I actually don't know if my SEAL vehicles are off the radar to everybody when they're inside that blip. That's something I really should test out. I need to get my mate Dread Pirate Rob on with me. If you're watching this video, Dread Pirate, we need, I need you to get on with me one night and we need to test this. Where I'm going to start a cell mission up so you can have a look and see can you see my vehicle inside there when I call a Marnie. Oh man, this thing is trash off-road. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah, I've got a minute 30 before I can call the oppressor back in. I'm going to be at the drop before then, so I'm going to have to get the Sparrow again. There we go, there's number two. Where's the Sparrow? There it is. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, bike number three. Let's go. Another drop, not too... Not too bad. Oh, we've got a player here, Chocky Milk. What a name. That's awesome. Way, what are you doing, mate? Cutting across me like that in your little golf cart with a roof and windows. Oops, okay, there we go. Number three done. So we got more done than we got last time with the bikes. One to go. Let's go grab it. Okay, there's the final bike. Where are we off to this time? No, get on the bike. What are you doing? Oh my god, 8Ks. We're going all the way up to Polito Bay. Fantastic. This is going to be a long, boring drive. I'll cut this... <laughs> I'll cut the footage here unless something interesting happens and I have to defend myself again from another toxic griefer. I'll just cut the video and I'll talk to you when we get to the to the end there. Okay, here we go. We're coming in for the final drop now. Where's that truck up there? So, if you guessed I was going to be able to sell three completely full, then you were right. $472,500 for the document forgery office. And I'm wearing those white pants again. What's going on with my character? Seriously. Uh, Anyway, look, we're going to jump ahead. Oh, sorry, we're going to jump back into the clubhouse and we'll have a bit of a chat. So I'm back in the clubhouse now. We're just going to go over quickly the money that I made in this video. So we started off with the cash factory and we made 1136100 That's all because of the high demand bonus doing it in a public lobby. Uh, next, we did the lockup. That was the, We got the seaplanes on that one, didn't we? And someone blew up one of the seaplanes. Had we have done that in an invite-only session, we would have got $1,050,000. We did it in a full public lobby. We only got two-thirds of it done, but we still made $1,102,500. So that just shows that it, well, that one was worth doing in a, in a public lobby still, because I got, even just doing two-thirds of the actual mission, I got more than I would have in an invite-only session. Uh, next, we did the grass farm. And we got the single vehicle on that one, which was really good, except that I was stoned the entire time driving it. That was fun. Uh, so we ended up with $945,000. Next, we ran into a bit of trouble with the Blue Lab. And, look, that's partly my fault. I'm not a PvP player. I'm not... I'm fairly passive when it comes to other players. As soon as, soon as I killed him, I should, have blew, I should have blew up his oppressor. That's what I should have done. I would have been then free to get... Because he just got back on his oppressor and come back after me again. I should have blown up his oppressor. I would have been free to go and um, deliver that last vehicle. He might not have come after... Well, he probably might have come after me because when he came after me with that second bike, he just... He didn't leave me alone. He kept coming after me and after me and after me. I, and like I said, I'm not a PvP player. I'm not very good when it comes to PvP. I don't generally engage in PvP because of that. 
And I had a level 59 kind of spawn kill me, which was a bit, little bit embarrassing. But, look, some people, that's all they do. All they do is PvP. The more you do a particular thing, the better you're going to get at it. If all you do is PvP, you're going to get good at PvP in this game, and you're going to beat players who aren't PvP players, like myself. Anyway, two out of the four bikes got us 669,350. So that one really would have been better off doing that in an invite-only session. But with all the other bonuses, it, it makes up for that one. That's the only one we sold at a loss. And then finally we did the uh, counterfeit cash. Uh, sorry, not the counterfeit cash. We did that one first. Finally we did the document forgery office, the worst one of all of them. Uh, we actually changed sessions because that other guy wouldn't leave me alone. And we sold that one completely full for 472500 So between the five businesses, 4325450 made. And Did this you know has taken me about two and a half hours to do all of those cell missions. So, look, it, it might be worth it. Two and a half hours... 4.3 million dollars all of that money was um all that sorry all of that product was produced in the background while i was doing other stuff so it's totally up to you i'm never going to run these again once the products that are sorry once the supplies that are in the businesses at the moment converted into fully into products with the grass the lab and the lockup i'm going to be selling up to the street dealer Document forgery and cash factories, anything left in either of those two, I'll start a cell mission, I'll blow the vehicles up or I'll drive them into the sea because I just want all of them businesses empty again because it's just not worth it. The raids, it sucks. Not worth it. But look, if you've sat through this entire video, you've enjoyed it, you've had a bit of fun at my expense with this one, if I've entertained you, that was the purpose of this video. A bit of pain for me is a bit of an entertainment for you, then it was all worth it in the end. So look, do what you will with what you've seen in this video when it comes to these businesses. Run them if you want. Get them for the nightclub. Definitely get them for the warehouse and the nightclub. They're totally worth it for that. that that's going to help get your extra product into your nightclub warehouse. So it's 100% worth getting the businesses, particularly the lockup, the cash, and the lab. The other two, not so much. But they're not really that worth it to run as businesses on their own. So, you know, I'll leave that all up to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. If you want to see more GHA content, please hit that subscribe button. Let's aim for 1,000 subscribers. We're so close. It's a small milestone for some, I know. I'm only a small channel, so to me, it's a massive milestone to reach 1,000. I didn't think I was going to get 100 when I first started this channel, let alone or almost 1,000. That'd be great. I appreciate your support, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.